would you like to develop a technical analysis dashboard application using streamlit wherein you can input the stock name or stock symbol and you can select time frame and you can show the data table or you can show the chart or you can do both and where once you input the symbol then you can analyze on returns momentum trend strength if yes you are on the right video welcome back to tech nuggets in this video we will build a streamlit application for stock analysis dashboard okay let's look at the required libraries for this application streamlit y finance pandas t plotly streamlit is for your user interface y finance is for getting your stock data pandas t for the technical analysis parameters and plotly for the chart uh, uh, before we start uh, what is streamlit streamlit is uh, is again open source lightweight framework for uh, machine learning and uh, AI application user interface development. Okay, I have done a basic video on Streamlit. You can watch it. Um, if you are not, let us do the code walkthrough. Uh, first, let us see the imports that are Streamlit, Finance, Pandas, Pandas T, and Graph, Plotly Graph. Right, TA for technical analysis, Y finance for stock data. And then we have functions uh, loading a data wherein we can pick stock name and period. Then you take open, high, low, close volume. And then what we do is we uh, rename just to wrangle some of these columns in order to match format and we reformat this date time as a time and uh, this. Y and M, year, month, date. Then we add some of the technical parameters where we have EMA 20, EMA 200, RSA 14, ADX 14, and ATR 14, and returning data grade, whatever we loaded. Then we have some more functions where uh, uh, in this uh, application we use. The emojis, for example, if it is a positive value, we'll give a green tick. If it is uh, negative value will give a red circle. So, for example, in this, we have a returns emoji based on a uh, positive value, it will be a green. If it is uh, negative, it's a red. So, the same way for EMA, EMA and LTP. For example, if the EMA uh, is EMA is supposed to be greater than less than the LTP, I mean, the LTP should be greater than the EMA. So that is the emoji to return based on the condition and then we have a RSA emoji again here 32 less than 70 it will be a tick otherwise it will be a red it's a desired range most of the people uses and we use a ADX again greater than 25 then we have a chart create chart method where you take a data frame and you create a candles and then you uh, you tray you add a traces so EMA 20 and 200 you plot these two on the candlestick and return the candlestick okay so this is about the uh, that's about utility function now let us see the main application UI function that is st dot sub adder with a rainbow colon rainbow gives you the rainbow colorful header and we have a sidebar component that is your stock name time frame option and show data checkbox if it is data rules review table chart review then you load the data with the stock whatever you selected whatever you typed and take a time frame option um then i'm reversing it because that df comes in the uh, other order the what i'm looking for is i want to take the latest as a first uh, row so that then i'm adding EMA 20 value, EMA 20 I'm taking from there. Um, then I'm taking RSI, ADX, everything. Um, then we take it with the uh, one month value and uh, uh, three months, six months, that is 12 months, right? 
So we do the value and we, we do the calculation of the percentage calculation. Then do the column wise display. Uh, each column, uh, I want to show one column returns, momentum, and, uh, and strength. Okay. So then finally, if there is show data, then we show the TF. In show chart, we show the chart. The way I'm running this uh, script is uh, on my virtual environment. That is my streamlit app is my virtual environment. I have created the code and it's activated. Okay, let's go ahead and run this. That is uh, streamlit run streamlit book version 1.5. Perfect. Okay, it's running. The dashboard is coming up. Awesome. Let's go ahead and check. The way we check is so uh, it's for IAAP Apple and time frame one year. And I would like to see show data table. And uh, once I select, I can see the returns that is a one month return, three months, six months, 12 months. In this analysis, what we do is um, uh, positive value for in terms of month, one month, three months, six months, 12 months. The momentum we will check in terms of uh, EMA, the LTP should be greater than EMA 20 and 200, and it is green for this particular symbol. And RSA is between 30 to 75. 30 is basically from rising, and till 70 is good to buy. So in this case, it is 81. It is actually mostly like uh, oversold or uh, oversold region, maybe you have to think. And uh, then the for a trend strength, we check the ADX that is, it should be greater than 25, which you have seen the code. Okay. <laughs> let us check some more, some more symbol. Maybe let's go ahead and say NVIDIA. Perfect. It loaded and uh, it looks good because in terms of returns, momentum, and uh, trend strength, both are all are good. Only thing is, it's uh, it's a reaching oversold region or based on RSA. Okay. So the good part here is you put any symbol which you know. We are going to pull it from um, wife nets. For example, you wanted to pull something on Indian stock market. Say Tata Motors. Motors start the NSC stocks end with NS, and you should be able to see the data. So in Tata Motors, NS is one month is good, but three months it is underperforming. It is negative two point four. Six months and twelve months are good. Momentum is good. RSA also good. And uh, then trend strength also really good with speaking up now. Okay, we can check the value in the data as well. For example, through chart also I can check, for example, EMA LTP is greater than EMA 20 and 200. For example, here you can see the blue one is EMA 20, EMA 200 is. So all of the current price is greater than all of this. The momentum is good. Okay, so that's all I want to share with you today. If you like this video, subscribe, share it, um, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.